I made these stock boxes last week on the laser cutter. Um, I did, did the design in Fusion 360. Uh, they work really well for storing parts inside of our storage cabinets. As you can see, we've got PVC fittings in them. We had the six on the left, but we didn't have any for the uh, components on the right. So uh, I just took some measurements of our storage cabinet and uh, plugged it into Fusion 360. And see here, here's the model. Uh, they do nest, so they got these bumps that the tops fit into the bottoms. But they work really well, but I want to be able to put these components on the workbench as well. So um, without having eight of these boxes. So I'm gonna, I wanna do two section boxes. So what I'd like to do is save myself time and just reuse what I've already designed. I'm gonna do that by, um, I want four of these boxes on my workbench, so I'm gonna uh, co copy the back component um, this guy here. I'm gonna copy that to the middle of this box. I did the design. Uh, if I turn on the origin, you can see I did the design with the origin in the middle of the bottom panel. Uh, I just made it a whole lot easier when I was um, mirroring the components over. So left to right, you design the left and just mirror it over to the right, and then also front to back. Um, and then as well as when you, I make these tabs, all these tabs that um, slide together. So in order to copy this back panel to the middle or to the origin, um, I'm going to use the move move copy tool. So you can get to the move copy tool by using an M on your keyboard, or right clicking about eight o'clock. I'm going to use the uh, components because that's how I designed this. I'm just going to choose that one. I'm going to use the translate method. I'm going to go ahead and do. I'm going to pick a direction. So I'm going to select. That direction there. Distance. Uh, I'm going to turn on my origin so I can figure out the distance. I'm going to. I'm not sure what the distance is, so I'll measure it. I'm going to measure from this face to the origin. It's telling me it's 7.77 inches. I'm going to make sure I create a copy because I still want my box to work. And I'm going to hit OK. Now as you can see, I've got that new component. The face of this new component is on the origin. Uh, I also have to cut the tabs into the sides and then cut the tabs off the bottom of this divider. So I'm going to just do that quick. And there you go. That's how you move a object inside of your design to the zero point of either an axis or the, just the origin.